Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to add a pre-order button with a pre-order note with no app or external library and it works with Shopify 2.0 from Dawn version 1 to Color Black, which is the newest team. So it should work on any of the Shopify 2.0 free teams. So this is what we're adding here. I use color black on this um, tutorial. And when you go down, I'm gonna go look for a product, the antique drawer. So I have four uh, variants in here. So each variant could have a different quantity available. So on the product uh, black, it has a zero quantity. So there's no stacks available. So it says pre-order now and it will have a pre-order message. You can customize the message or the note and also the pre-order uh, button text. And if you go to white, which is more than zero, it will have um, the add to cart button and it will remove the pre-order note. And then when we go to gray, it will have the pre-order again and then pre-order button here and now the same with pink it's going to go back to add to cart so that's what we're going to add in here so to start we're going to go to our um, shopify store so you have to be an admin and you go click online store and then teams and we're going to edit this dawn version 2.5 just to show you that it works with other versions of dawn you're going to click actions and then edit code and we're going to expand this screen and we're going to look for uh, sections. So we're going to edit the main dash product, that liquid. And we're going to find the buy buttons actually. So I'm going to say buy underscore buttons. So we're going to look for this form and the end form. So in here, we're going to delete this code right here. And we're going to go to our website and then copy this code right here. And then you paste it in here. And highlight it and then press shift tab to reformat. So I'm just going to fix this one here. Okay. And next, um, we're going to go on the buy buttons. We're going to paste a code on top of the buy button. So we'll go back to our website again. And then we're going to copy this code right here and control V to paste. And I'm going to fix it again, shift tab to uh, reformat. And then also we are going to add a schema so that we can customize our text. So we're going to go back to our website again and we're going to copy this code. And in here, we're going to go down to schema and look for the buy button. So we can just also do it here. So buy button. So right here, this is the schema. Just want to make sure this is schema and down here is the buy buttons. So in our buy buttons, we're going to look for this bracket. After the closing bracket of check backs, you're going to click enter. So we get a space here and control V to paste and it should be that one and then you click save and we're almost done all we have to do is go to our asset folder and we're gonna open the global.js so here and in our website we're gonna copy this code again and we're gonna look for toggle add button so in our global.js, we're going to control F and I already have the search uh, box here. So we're going to type toggle add button. So you're going to see uh, multiple in here, but we're looking for this one, the one with the disable true um, text and modify class. So we're going to um, look for the closing bracket. So this is the opening and the closing bracket. So we're going to replace this whole code and then control V to paste it in here. So we're just going to highlight it and shift tab to reformat. So that should be it. That's all you have to do to add a pre-order button with a note. All you have to do is just go to your customized theme. So we're going to click this. I'm just going to right click and open a new tab. And in here, we're going to go to our product 
so products and default products so i have this default product here and it's showing pre-order so the note will not show unless you add it add a block so we have to add a block and then we're going to look for pre-order note and then click save and it should show you the please allow us five days and you can edit this one if you want um, pre-order um, bold so you can just highlight it and have bold and it should work with the italize too and you can also um reposition it if you don't want it under the share button you can put it i mean above the buy buttons so wherever you want and just click save and everything should work um you can also change the pre-order button so if you go to buy buttons and you can change it to uh i want it capital so i'm gonna go pre-order yes and then that's it that's all you have to do to add a pre-order button to your product page in your shopify team and if you have any question let me know and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching